did you know the average size of an erect penis is about 5.3 to 5.8 inches? I didn't think that the centimeters would matter that much, but you know, turns out they do. Hello, hello, I am Six at Black Woman Being and today I'm creating a vlog. I know that to be a YouTuber, it's really, really important to continuously be making content, to continuously have something to talk about. And sometimes, especially when it comes to spirituality and astrology, I write so much that once I finish writing, I'm just like, okay, that's it <laughs> i'm done and creating the actual visual content is a little difficult for me because it's a whole different medium and i'm working on getting better at that actually one of my friends is coaching me really really excited for that it's really helpful just because sometimes it's just nice to have somebody who believes in you and reminds you that you're capable in this vlog i will be talking about sweet harassment arguably just sexual harassment because i wouldn't say i was on the street i was actually in a public place uh this little story time actually blew my mind because i it just it has not happened to me while in florida since i've been back like i haven't really struggled with any types of harassment that being said i spend a decent amount of time alone and I guess like I was just surprised by this entire situation. For background, because I, sometimes I have issues with being overwhelmed or stressed out, I've found that exercise does help. And I understand a lot of people don't want to hear that. Like a lot of people hear people say, oh, you need to do yoga. Oh, why don't you like go to the gym? Nobody who is mentally ill wants to hear that they can do push-ups to make their problems go away. That being said, a lot of health professionals, mental health professionals have found actually exercise is one of the best things that a person can do. Sometimes it's even more effective than therapy. So personally, I have worked really hard to work on my physical health and wellness, which means even if I'm not running, if, even if I'm not doing something that's high intensity, I am still going on walks daily. And I have a little Apple watch, which is really cute because my mom challenges me essentially and is like, okay, like your walk or run did not count unless you're wearing your Apple watch. So if for, it's a cute way that I get to connect with my family members and also now friends, just so we're all checking in about each other's exercise. And it's like a wonderful bonding experience. It makes me feel loved and it also helps my mental health. This week I went to the park. I, I went for a walk in the park and it was pretty chill and this park is pretty safe i haven't had anything wild except for this situation happen and i just didn't anticipate anything odd happening and mind you i'm at the park i see a bunch of older adults walking their dogs i'm like oh, cute i see younger adults walking their dogs and i'm like cute and I also saw a family. It was a mother and a father and their kids. I was like, this is beautiful. I love this so much. Like, I just love seeing people get outside and spend time with their family, spend time with their loved ones. Like, this is such a great day, you know? Like, I might not have the puppy and I might not have the family, but I'm very genuinely happy to see other people experience that in their life. I end up walking under a pavilion. So there are like maybe like two tables under the pavilion and I'm just chilling there for a second. I was looking at photos or something. Like I was just doing something on my phone. I think I was texting one of my friends about astrology actually. Yeah, I was texting one of my friends about astrology and I was just chilling under this pavilion. And then I saw a cross from the pavilion. So the pavilion's right here and a cross from the pavilion. There's like, a, the preparation for a bridge you know like there's no like huge body of water but it's like an overpass and these this overpass on both sides so the entry of the overpass there's two pillars and on the uh, enter the other the exit of the overpass is also two pillars as i'm looking over at the pillars i notice this 
man's behind the pillar. And it kind of looked like maybe he was masturbating or urinating behind the pillar. I see him, he sees me, I see him, he sees me, and I'm not gonna be a perv and keep looking, you know, like whatever this man is doing, you know, I, my Karen senses did not go off in that moment, you know, like I was just like, all right. And also in the moment, I think I was just so kind of surprised by what was happening that I didn't even think there's a bathroom right there. I had no idea and I wasn't trying to investigate, okay? Like I wasn't trying to investigate what he was doing. Who knows what he was doing behind the pillar? So I just figured that I didn't want to find out either. So I minded my own business and like just started walking away. So to get to the overpass over because I had to go past him to essentially get out of the situation or loop all the way around, which would involve like, I don't know, retracing my steps, which I felt like seemed kind of silly because I went to the park to walk. So to exit the pavilion, I had to loop out and through the looping out, I did not see where he went. As I get out to the, to the main pavement and preparing to go down the overpass, I see this man now standing at the pillar, menacing. To be fair, in that moment, I did unpack my unconscious bias because I went to school for social work. So I'm very aware of how systems have historically made certain groups of people appear to be more menacing than they are. You know, like I'm looking at this man, he's wearing a black wife beater and um, black sweats and uh, you know, he is of color. He's not black, but he's of color. So I'm just like, do I think that he's a menace because I have internalized white respectability politics and I am the one who is wrong in this situation? This man just is giving me vibes of concern but do I know that he's really a concern? This man hasn't done anything yet. And I'm like, unpacking my <laughs> unconscious bias, like in the moment, real time. And I'm just like, I'm just so lost in the, in the chamber of my own PC-ness that I effectively walk past the mans. It's one man, I just say the mans. My friends say the mans too, the mans. I walk past the mans. The man's I walk past. I uh, then realize that situation's over. So I keep walking around the park. I do my little loop-de-loop. -loop. I see the puppies. I'm like, oh, bok bok, you're so cute. Look at the little puppies, <laughs> oh, bok bok. You know when people have the little yokies and you know that there's nothing that dog is gonna do to protect them. Like you're just like, you now look even less intimidating because of your dog. If you looked intimidating before, your dog makes you look super non-intimidating that's how i was feeling about some of these people i'm looking i'm thinking that's cute and i just continue my walk around the park it's so great it was doing wonderful for my mental health i was on my meds because in the state of florida marijuana is medicinal so i you know i see a therapist like i this is i take it very seriously my medicinal marijuana is a serious thing. I take my health and fitness seriously. I do what I need to do to make sure that I'm good. I look to the left to me, and to the left of me, what's that man's again? Popped out of the bushes. like law and order special victim unit. This man's pops out of the bushes, phallus out, phallus out, flaccid phallus out, flaccid phallus out, phallus was out in flaccid. I Three, looked at this man, this man two, looks at me. I one. looked at this man, this man looks at me. I looked at this man, this man looks at me. I look at my phone. 
I text my friend and say, <laughs> I was like in the middle of a text already. I was like, yeah, you know, uh, astrology. Oh my God, it's a basic one of flies and peanuts. <laughs> my friend is like, ha ha. What the heck? I, I, and in that moment, I looked at this man. This man looks at me. I looked at this man. This man looks at me. And then I'm like, maybe I should take a picture. And then like, it was really confusing because I'm like, Am I invalidating this man's consent by taking a photo of his penis without asking? As I started to go through the chambers of PC-ness in my brain, this man jumps into the bushes again. He is back in the bushes and like a rabbit has disappeared. I wish that this man didn't do what he did because wow. One of my friends described that situation as pre-rape and that friend that I'm talking about is actually a man, which was very interesting to me because I was like, you know, I felt like, I felt evaluated cause I'm just sitting here a little frightened because I'm just like, I did nothing to interact with that man. Like in fact, I was walking away from that man. I was leaving that man. So this man's just showing me his flaccid penis really confused me because I didn't know how to take it. On one hand, I'm intellectualizing my experience because my son is in Sagittarius and thinking, well, maybe this is a homo sapien mating dance, you know? Really what happened was I received an unsolicited dick pic IRL. So a part of me was like, is this, is this just how the man state? And then I realized, I know plenty of mans that don't do that. That mans was the concern. I end up walking home, all chill. While I was at the park, I noticed that there was a woman who is smaller than me, like, because I'm a very tall person. This person looked smaller and they had a very cute yapper dog that I knew that that woman would have to protect the yapper dog before that yapper dog could protect her. And I just said, there is a flasher in the park. And then I walked away because <laughs> I didn't want anything to happen to her. And I just kind of like, through my walk home, was just like, this man really just whipped it out. I don't know what was his prerogative. I had no idea. And I was kind of bummed out because like personally, I have experienced the police not giving adequate care. So my confusion also in the moment was, do I call 911? Because if I call 911, are they even going to show up in time? Like, is this even going to make sense? I have no idea what to do. And then I was wondering if I call 911, does that make it so I'm the bad guy and I'm perpetuating systems of oppression and when people feel so strongly to abolish the police? And then like, I'm also just concerned because like, I didn't go to the park strap that day. Like next time I will go to the park strap. Like, and by strapped, I mean, legally probably carrying some type of pepper spray or something you know but it's just like one of those things where it's like geez louise i walked to the park all by myself and if i was like in a different situation this man could have been even more menacing like that is deranged behavior i tell my mom what ends up happening and she's like you need to call 911 and i was like this is not an appending emergency like this is this is past, this was like two hours ago. Um, I, like, I, you know, I call 911 and they're like, okay, so like call the office back tomorrow. And I was like, kind of figured that was good, what was gonna happen. Like, didn't really expect anything super amazing to happen. Um, yeah, I, I ended up explaining to my mom, I think living in New York and being harassed every single day that I walked outside and just went to work has made it so I'm a bit immune to sexual harassment. And my mom's like, you shouldn't be immune to sexual harassment. And that's actually a really good point. And that's also part of the reason why I bring this up to you all, because I think it's really easy for us to be exposed to very dangerous behavior and then because we're exposed to it we're used to it we think it's normal it becomes our normal and then what becomes our normal might not actually be common and even though it's normal and maybe it's common based off of where we are it's not acceptable so i made this vlog to let you all know do not do 
not go and flash your peen at people? What the heck? That's not attractive. That is sexual harassment, visual assault. I am still disturbed. Yuck. Now I have to go sign up for a martial arts class or something. Because that's what you do. That's what people tell you to do when you're like somehow the victim of something. They're like, oh, well, you better learn karate. You know, like, as if karate was going to stop this man from flashing his flaccid penis I hope penis that me. you all have a safe week. And if you are someone who gets really harassed whenever you go outside i hope that you are extra super safe if you have a uh, body parts please do not flash people in the park um that's not okay like this man intentionally like said hey i'm gonna harass this chillin black chick this black chick i'm just gonna harass her today Don't do that. If you found my wildlife story very, very interesting, please like this video and share it with a friend who you think might also be amused. I will see you all in the next video and I hope you have an amazing day.